During the Vietnam War, the U.S. military sprayed 12 million gallons of the herbicide Agent Orange over various parts of Vietnam in order to defoliate the vegetation so the enemy had no cover. They thought that the chemical was only harmful to plants and not to humans because of very irresponsible biological warfare. It's estimated that there are now about 150,000 children afflicted with diseases associated with Asian Orange. In July of 2010, the photographer and filmmaker Ed Kashi and I were sent to Vietnam by the Ford Foundation to photograph the victims of Agent Orange. We chose to document two families, one who received support and another family underserved. The most shocking thing I learned is that this is a disease that's passed down genetically. Nguyen Thi Lee, she's nine years old, and both Nguyen Thi Lee and her mother have problems due to Agent Orange. The family receives care and support from children of Vietnam. They make sure that Nguyen Thi Lee goes frequently to a clinic. She gets a tutor and they provided funds so the family could repair their roof. The other family that I photographed, the family of the two disabled boys, Tan Tri and Tan Hao, are not served by children of Vietnam. They get very little assistance from any NGO and very little support from the government. The mother, Vo Thi Nam, she just has a very difficult life. She basically spends all her time caring for these boys. There are no physical therapists, so she wheels Tan Hao to the rehabilitation clinic. It was so sad to see that this is the result of this herbicide that the U.S. military sprayed. And that now, so many years later, many, many Vietnamese people are afflicted with disabilities that we can attribute to Agent Orange. It's not just something that happened in the past. It's very present.